we kind of already gotten the idea that Tay Savage is somebody who's maybe not as interested in being told who he's allowed to fuck with or who he's allowed to work with. Would you say that that's accurate? For sure. I got, who can tell me something? Right. Who can tell me something? But I do got respect for the guys, though. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Somebody told me, like, nah, bro, like, nah, that ain't nah, bro. Like, then I'd be like, yeah, okay, I, I can see that. You feel me? But I'm not, I ain't, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do what I want to do. I'm going to move how I want to move. I'm that, that, That's just me. And I'm going to call, call you. I'm like, I ain't finna. That's the problem. I feel like everybody trying to be one person. Mm. Everybody trying to, or, or everybody scared to do something like I, even like with me and J-Man. Now, I I, holl- I hollered at a few guys from O Block, dude, and I'm like, man, you know what I'm saying? You know, I know that y'all op. He not really our op, but you know what I'm saying? Like, we kind of like inherit all this through y'all or whatever, but I'm like, you know what I'm saying? How, how y'all feel about that? Hey, man, especially Duke, you know what I'm saying? Duke DQ, they like, man, bro, nah, you know what I'm saying? We, we, we with it, bro. We, we want peace too. Mm. We with that. If, 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 but, you know, certain, they, they, they saying J Main because you know J Main like level here, you know what I'm saying? But like it's it's other ones. They like nah, bro. We ain't really because they not they not they not they probably not genuine with they not. But they with it though. They like yeah we. It is okay with J Main like right now. If you look at his content and stuff, he is kind of keeping it pretty cool and like just being funny and just doing his comedy type thing and having good conversations on camera. But if you rewind the clock like six months. You got him doing say cheese interviews with a fake OTF tattoo on his head and shit, and that was stuff that really probably could have got him in some serious trouble. No, nah, I, I I think they I think they they looked at that. Me personally, I would look at it like, man, this dude, what this dude's a good. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's why they looking at it. But shout out J Main too, man. I ain't gonna lie, J Main, man, he really he really doing his thing. You feel me? He really doing his thing. He really, you know what I'm saying? I had even hollered at him like, look, bro, you know, like. I know you're doing your comedian thing and everything, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, we can't do the disrespect thing. Like, mm. I don't want to be talking to you or yell or somebody, then then we hang up, then y'all saying F him and F him. But, man, right. shout out to J-Man for sure, man. He, he man, helped me with my YouTube thing, he, you know what I'm saying? H- uh, helped me get subscribers, helped me set it up, helped, taught, me, taught me a lot with it, you know what I'm saying? So, <clears throat> yeah, it's all love with that, for yeah, sure. Yeah, we're big J-Man believers over here. I think you got a long career ahead of him. Yeah, for sure. Definitely. The world needs somebody like him. So, okay, what's up with the Lamron slash Taytown beef? Did you feel like at a certain point you were forced to pick sides? Um, I, I really, truth, I really don't know what's up with that beef. You feel me? I really don't know. Like them, them guys, they they've been around each other for years. Like these, like you know what I'm saying. So I really don't know. Like, I, it, it can't be too serious. You know what I'm saying? It's probably like, you know they just agreeing to disagree, whatever they doing. Me on the outside looking in, I don't think it's nothing too serious though. Okay. I think they just, I mean, ain't, you know what I'm saying? It can't be nothing too serious. I think, like, they just feel how they feel about yeah, each other. Yeah, but it's definitely because a lot of fans been wanting to see Reese and uh, Lil Dirk come together, and they ain't really been hanging out as of recently. So that's where. Yeah, yeah. What's your relationship like with Dirk right now? Like, do y'all have one or? Um, nah, no, nah, we ain't got no relationship. Like I said, you're Muslim, so that's, that's, that's it. Yeah, that's really it. Yeah, he. I really don't know. I, I just know he was sick or whatever recently. I ain't really been hearing nothing from him, though. But right. you like you know him, though? Because like I, I heard yeah. you said that you met King Vaughn in jail. Like, yeah, what was yeah, yeah, yeah. I was around Dirk. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I'm definitely familiar with Dirk, for sure, for sure. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Um, if somebody told you, like, hey, Dirk wants to get on the phone with you, would you be happy to have that conversation? Yeah, he's Muslim, for sure. I so anybody who's Muslim gets, like, an extra level of pass from Tay Savage? They're going to always get an extra... You see, I don't even know him. Right. I'm, I see him. I'm like, hey, Muslim. So I'm like, oh, we get the chop lit up. Well, that's crazy to think that he might go home and just search your name on YouTube and all of a sudden get. No, I told him. I told him like, man, I, I don't think I said I was a rapper. I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm entertaining. He's like, oh, okay, I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you know, they they know, they know, they know like where we come from and, and that we strive. He see the tattoos, so he probably like, man, he probably. But some Muslims take it so serious that you're not even allowed to make music or, or be involved with the music side of things, right? Have you heard that? Yeah, I heard that, and like with Gates, like when they were saying something about Dirk shooting a shooting a shooting a video and that, man, Gates was making some points like, man, I don't know, like times changing, you feel me? Times changing, and like he ain't did nothing wrong, basically. Like mm-hmm. he, he pushing the dean if you see anything, you see them guys in there making us a lot. And you're like, oh man, man, you know you know how many people tell me they want to convert to Islam? Like, yeah, bro, I want to take my shahada, bro. I want to. It might be from off Dirk. The thing he did. He's definitely but, helped push it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so, I mean, I, I I liked it. I ain't gonna lie to you. I liked it. I, he, I liked that. Do you listen to the Dirk album? 
Um, I don't think I know. I don't think I did. Really? Like, you like less connected to the the drill scene and all the stuff that's coming out of Chicago now. It's about me just drop. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I ain't really know. I think I heard like a few songs. Like, yeah. I know just you heard the, the, the J Cole feature. Yeah, yeah, I heard that. Everybody yeah. heard that. Yeah. That's on the radio every five seconds. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I heard. That. I like that. I like that song. What have you been listening to lately? Anything in particular stands out? Mm, truthfully, I'm gonna be honest with you. I really been listening to like myself, or like, like you know the guys like Buki, Buki them, because it it be more like a studying thing for me. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. I just, I just drop something. Now I'm trying to remember the lyrics, and so that's really what I be on. You right. Know what I'm saying? Or if, if I do go outside, it outside. The guys, it they probably be like, like, you know what I'm saying? Somebody we probably connected to. You interested in any music outside of hip hop though? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm trying. To, I want to do a lot. I'm trying to act. I want to do a lot. Like Pac, I like Pac. I, I I watched a lot of documentaries. I read a lot of books on Pac. I like I like Tupac. You know what I'm saying? So I'm under the I'm under in order to be a great leader. You had to once be a great follower type of thing. So. I, I watch him. I, I study his, his interviews. I study a lot of things he be saying. You know what I'm saying? So mm. that's really what I'm on. I'm, I'm trying to the the the, the poetry thing though. I'm, I, I gotta kind of I gotta kind of get into that though. You feel me? Would you make a reggaeton song with six nine? A what? A reggaeton? <laughs> like a Latin song or like a <clears throat> you know the like Caribbean vibes they say, that they be they, bringing? They say your boys got what to a couple million making a song with him, didn't they? Kodak got a million. A million. Yeah, to you, do a verse, twelve bars. Would you have accepted a million to do a song with Kodak? Oh, six now? I ain't got no million, man. <laughs> nah, I don't know. It had to be in my face. I don't know. I, I really don't know. I can't, I, cause I ain't finna be and be like, man, hell no, man. Fuck that million dollars. I don't know what I it, uh, M? Right. What? I don't know. I might. I might be like, bro. I don't know what I say, man. But, but I mean, it's kind of crazy too because he he basically got paid a million dollars to diss him on the song. To diss him on the song, that was wrong. <laughs> he he did was wrong. He did that. Right. That was wrong. But I don't know, man. I I really can't say to be honest with you. But that, if you that, that's an M. If you're somebody like Kodak, I mean, being a gangster is clearly very important to him. And now he got people like Boosie coming out and basically saying that he's not allowed to call himself a gangster anymore or whatever. Yeah, so man, that that is like the punishment that he has to deal with is that certain people are going to feel a way about it, even if for him, he don't f- give a fuck. And that's, and that's crazy, right, with Boosie, because like growing up, like when I was younger, my, my name was Badass. That was my name. So I always liked Boosie. So I ain't going to lie, bro. If Boosie came out and said that about me, I'd be like, I feel like kind of disappointed, like, damn. You know, mm. 